have never been diagnosed with celiac disease or a wheat allergy, but both my mother and my sister were diagnosed a few years back, and because it is hereditary, I ended up going gluten-free for some issues I was having and feel much, much better. When I first decided to go gluten-free as far as really going 100% gluten-free, um, it was a little bit challenging. I mean, there were things that, oops, I slipped and I ate something that had wheat in it or whatever, because there's so many things that wheat is or barley or rye that's in, even just a beer. You know, you don't even think of things like that. Because I used to bake a lot, and my mom and my sister had celiac, they said, hey, why don't you try to do something in the Greensboro area being gluten-free. Opened it up about two years ago, and um, slowly went to a number of different events in the Greensboro and Winston area last year, um, like the first indie markets and Rinalda Village, a bunch of different markets. And of course, I was at the Piedmont Farmers Market on the weekends last year. And then when it's kind of started to really kind of pick up a little and it got cold out, I came inside at the market here and I've been in here a year next month. I have seen an increase um, in the amount of business. Number one, probably primarily is because of people not knowing me the first six months or eight months or even really now being at two years, I still have people that come in and said, oh, I never knew you were here. So it continues to grow at a very slow pace though. I'm not a millionaire, I'm still at the market, I'm not paying all my bills, but I'm hanging on by a shoestring and the economy of course goes into that as well. They say three to four years is getting the word out there who you are and where you are, and I'm still doing that um, as far as advertising in, in papers or we have some radio spots going on here um, at the farmer's market. So advertising is key and just again, it's, and word of mouth is huge. Um, people like your product, they're going to share it with others. As far as the, the range of people that buy my products, um, I have from four-year-olds, three-year-olds, two-year-olds needing it to 90-year-olds needing it. Um, I have parents that come in because kids have been diagnosed and it's not again so much just the celiac disease or or um, a wheat allergy it's there's a lot of folks that come in uh, because they want to buy the products for their children that maybe have um, autism or because it helps with symptoms or ADHD there are hundreds and hundreds of symptoms that many people have come when they've come to my table rashes migraines there's hundreds and hundreds that people deal with eating gluten-free helps with the symptoms of Crohn's disease or fibromyalgia. So um, there's people that come and buy it because they used to have debilitating migraines or rashes, and the rashes and the migraines went away when they went gluten-free. So a very wide range of ages and men, women, doesn't matter. In the past, it was really tough to get really good gluten-free goods, whether it's baked goods or frozen foods. Um, that has significantly changed over the last couple of years with a lot of um, a lot more people being diagnosed. Um, I have not found it to be an issue because pretty much when I went gluten free, um, first of all, I was a baker, so I had all the baked goods. But you know, it, the rest of the meal is kind of just done with meats and vegetables, and I just stay away from anything that's processed, which is much more healthier for you anyway. But as far as the availability for food, it's becoming more and more evident. You see more and more of it in the grocery stores these days. Um, and of course, you have people like me in little spots around the, around the state or city that have fresh goods. The advice I would give to those that are just diagnosed um, is to stick with it and to stick with it 100% because if you don't, your symptoms won't go away. You can get your fresh vegetables at the farmer's markets or at the grocery stores and of course those will not have gluten in it. It's when you hit up the frozen food section or things with a lot of preservatives um, and fillers where you're going to run into issues. Um, it, it can be difficult for those that are bread lovers and ones that, you know, they, they like their carbs. Um, but there are gluten-free breads, whether it's in the grocery stores or on the baker's table or um, pizza crust. Pizza is another one that a lot of people miss. Um, and I do sell pizza crust as well, which a lot of people do like. I mean, those are the, those are the breadier things are what people really miss when they go gluten-free. But it is doable. And, you know, it's a diet thing. It's, it's kind of mind over matter. You know, you just have to say, hey, if I'm really going to do it, I have to do it 100%. I can't do it at breakfast and then lunch have, you know, a McDonald's hamburger. It's, it's just not going to work. I think everyone should just try it for a couple weeks because I think everyone would feel a lot better um, as far as after they're eating if they went gluten.